Hey, you're at Steve Tech. I'm Steve, and on this episode, we're going to cover uh, combustion chamber modifications in IE uh, quench. So, let's take a look at the uh, normal cylinder head first. Okay, so as you can see here, this is the same cylinder head that we just did the um, the hoop process, and I told you in the hoop video that normally what we do is we'll do the combustion chamber mod while the cylinder heads in the machine and we're able to do it all at the same time so this area here is your major quench area this area over here where it's on the spark plug side uh, because there's so little flat in the area there's not much quench there so what quench actually is meaning is that uh, this area as the piston comes up flat against this area so pretend you had a, the flat of the piston you have a dome piston the dome fits in the combustion chamber right but there's always this flat area out here in the flat area of the piston and the flat area of the combustion chamber that area is the quench so what happens is that area is prone to uh, detonate because it'll the flame starts here, tries to make its way all the way across here, and if that quench is not proper or not right, it will have a tendency to detonate. So, the general philosophy that I follow is if quench is not perfect, I don't want it. Now, uh, in the pro stock world, comp eliminator world, um, engines like that, when we take a cylinder head apart I'm sorry take a head off an engine and we actually see indication that the piston is like literally just knocking the carbon off of it not hitting the head and leaving an indentation but actually leaving mark on there that would show that it is so close that it's just knocking the fuzz off of the head we know that that is perfect and what's happening is w when that quench when that piston is coming up and being perfectly flat up against here so it has to account for all the growth in the cylinder it has to account for growth in the I'm sorry the cylinder the rod the stroke deflection stretch uh, all of those variables so finding your perfect uh, quench number where the piston was actually touching the cylinder head without hitting the cylinder head but actually touching the cylinder head uh, it does take a little bit of trial and error and a little bit of math to figure that out, but mostly trial and error to figure out where your combination is at. So that is uh, perfect quench, and what that does is when that piston comes up and it perfectly hits there, it is forcing all fuel gases back into the combustion chamber to burn there properly instead of lingering and having this little channel, you know, this little teeny weeny channel uh, that would get fuel stuck in it and then cause it to ignite and cause detonation. So, since in a boosted engine, uh, in general, uh, like I said, we're either gonna make this quench area perfect, which is really pretty tough, uh, and or we will make it so there is no quench. And that's what I'm gonna talk to you about in the chamber mod. So, that's the definition of what quench is, what the quench is doing. Uh, if quench is wrong, if it has too much air gap there, uh, or too much gap where fuel can fill into it and then ignite, uh, that's detonation and that's a problem. Uh, you know, bad fuel or any of those other things are really prone to it if there's anything up in this area. So that's why we want to have perfect quench or no quench. So some people, and ourselves included, will lay this back some, but a lot of, or I've seen some others where they really get involved in rolling this over, and that's all fine. It's just adding more combustion chamber to it. Um, not a big deal. And what you're basically doing is spark plug is right here. So the spark starts here. That also means flame starts here. The flame front has to travel all the way to this side of the piston in order to burn everything that's in the combustion chamber. So in order to, we're now making that so you can, uh, that has a nice channel or like a trough to burn that through. So let me show you in a little diagram, a little picture here. So what you're basically looking at and what you're basically doing is when we make this combustion chamber in this three degree conical dish, the combustion chamber is like that, over exaggerated. 
and the piston would be coming down like this. This would be our piston now. All right, so that's our piston coming down towards the combustion chamber and we now have this little trough right here in which the flame travel can go. So that's what's keeping that nice and helping us to prevent detonation and allowing us to run a little more timing also because we're not worried about this thing being flat like this and then having some kind of gases getting caught in that area right there. So like I said, this is over exaggerated, but this is the whole principle of it is we put that conical dish in there so it builds this little trough area that the flame travel can get up to so we don't have any detonation problems and uncontrolled burning. So that's the whole uh, deal on what quenches, what our chamber mods are. There's a couple little other variations of chamber mods, but everybody uh, basically is doing that similar chamber mod. You'll hear it talked about as slowing the chamber down um, because it takes longer to get the flame front from here to here. That's another terminology for it. Um, there's another terminology you can't think of right off the top of my head, but that, that's the primary deal. That's what a chamber mod is, and that's what quench is. So I'm Steve Morris, Steve Tech. Thank you much.